Anyway. Okay, so we're back to initiative. Uh, I mean, fair enough to say that uh, it seems more pressing to get this eye than anything else we could do. We can multitask. We got total. Okay, Ryan, you're up. Uh, same thing as last time, just hit him with a fucking greater magic, and that's a 39 to pass his shit. Five charges left. Uh, hit this. Come on, let me fucking access him. There we go. Minus 45, and that'll be it for my turn. Okay, then we're into Xander. Uh, full attack. Wow. Is he suffering the grapple penalty? Uh, yeah, he loses his dex and whatever the other penalties are. That's it. You did a teeny weeny bit of damage? Yeah, 96 points. Okay, well then he will hug Van Wall. I love... Yeah, Van Wall can do anything anyway. Oh, the love. Oh, rolled terrible again. And then the bite. Twenty five. And then we're on to Ferentz. Uh, okay, you can heal another, uh, 36 and 22. And my work here is done. That's my turn. <laughs> That's my turn. Did you do anything? No. Fair enough. Oh, baby. Almost beat Xander. How is that even possible? Oh, I'm only 33, not 35. Well, still, let me see here. That's... Okay. That could have been dangerous. That would have been dangerous. How do we feel? Want to keep going north again? Yeah. Gonna do a just for the record, I want baseline. 
Sorry, you want what? Oh, just the stuff, the baseline, um, you know. Just humoring myself with all these creatures. I'll wait a polite five more seconds. Goodbye, Orion. I'll wait another polite five more seconds. No, oh, I'm waiting here. Go on ahead, though. See you later. Sorry, what? I'm, I'm, we, we made a whole deal about how it's out of character, apparently, to wait for people and say information, so I'm waiting here and saying information. What formation are you waiting in? For Orion not to be with the cave bear. Oh, no, wait. He, oh, he, yeah, Ryan no, he's, he's, he's with us. Got it. <laughs> Lost track of him. He's, he's, he's thin, he's skinny. <laughs> I'm like, what the well, fuck are you waiting on, man? We appreciate your concern. Mm. That means he cares. Okay, when you get there, Xander, you can roll perception. Yeah, uh, 37. I'm just going to go ahead and cast freedom of movement on myself. That's a wild and crazy idea. I'll use How long does that last for? Uh, ten minutes a level. That's not too shabby. Okay, you can see a uh, another dire cave bear in the corner. Freedom of movement protects against being grappled, right? Yes, that's yep. the idea. Um, I'm gonna let uh, everyone know telepathically that there's a bear on my right. I'm going to engage it and attack. Any? Do we have any arguments? Nope, seems good. Go okay, you can roll initiative. Fair. And you could sneak up on it and get like a free turn on it. Or free lightning jab or whatever it's called. You talking about the lightning lunge? Yeah. Well, I might be able to get a... If you want to wait, I might be able to get a, just a plain full attack on it. Eh, thoughts for next time. Well, is it, I don't think it's seen you. I don't think it knows you guys are there. Oh, fair enough. Something tells me you'll, you're going to try and sneak up on it, and it's going to double move past you to get to us. Well, that'd be very awkward. Yes, that would be very awkward. The problem with having one tank in the party and that tank stealthing is that things keep sneaking up on you. What are you doing, Ryan? Uh, I'm gonna delay to see what happens. I'm gonna stay out of the sight of the bear. I don't want to get fucking bear hugged again. Then what? I'm staying in the back. Sorry, what'd you say? Staying in the back and staying hidden. Okay. Parents, what are you doing? I'll walk off with my very bright light and say, A bear, where? <laughs> what is the matter with me? Did you get hit with a feeble mind spell? No. I just, like... I don't see what, like, I don't know, I guess I could wait, but, like, the light I'm No, it's have fine, but, like, I, I, just, I just don't understand why you would walk and say a bear where. No, 
No, I just mean like what it, my light is going to be shining off this far wall. There's no way it doesn't over here. No, no, that's fine. It was just really funny. Like that's your excuse on why you're stepping out. Oh, I was I was being lazy. I I had something about let's take the fight to it, brave comrade. Oh, okay, fair enough. Xander, you're up. Xander, you're up. Um. I'm going to assume these things have a decent dex. So, yeah, I'll stealth to it and then lightning round. Can I ask what its dex is? Yeah, it's three for dex and one for dodge. That's the stealth check if it matters, and... That means we would hit the third one would miss regardless. And that's a turn. Okay, then the dire bear will attack you. Fair enough. Oh, death is immediate. Third one hits. Forty two on the confirm. I'm sorry, I have fortification. Oh, okay. John's over here like, I'm gonna fucking get rid of fortification. Actually I was Trying to think of uh, a magic item idea that would uh, breach fortification wouldn't be. I would love higher. that, but it would also make builds like Xander's very strong. Why is that? If I could pierce fortification and go back to critting everything. Because fortification and not being able to beat fortification is the only thing that limits Xander in terms of just one-shotting everything. Yeah, I mean, crits are already really strong, but like all the chaotic odds, it makes affiliations easy. The crits are huge damage, especially with a few luck feats. Um, or even just prayer in general. Greater prayer. Yes, but the investment of buying a magic item that does that is the cost of bypassing it. And there aren't that many things in the game that have fortification. True. I mean, yeah, if it's expensive enough, I guess that'd be fair. I don't even think it'd have to be that expensive. Oh, okay, well. I won't argue. That was terrible damage. I'm sorry. Yeah, if you ever want to make that item, please let me. Okay, Ryan, you're up. I will step up here. I'll step up to here. Uh, no, easy. Easy money. Come on. Minus 45, enter, and I will five foot back down to here. That's my turn. Okay, you doing anything, Vanwa? Nope. I step up into the adjoining uh, tunnel, so I'm perfectly situated to be attacked. Okay, then we're back to initiative. Plot twist. There's a second bear on the other side. That would be awesome.
Okay, I just gotta go beat my kids. Uh, I'll be right back. You can take your turn to Ryan. Turn is going to be the same thing. 21. That does beat the 25. That was close. Uh, Alrighty. My turn has been taken. Did you go, Ferns? Uh, I got nothing to do. Passing turn. Uh, I guess I'll delay, technically. Okay, Xander. Okay, the second one misses. And that's the turn. Oh my god. You I missed all three? You missed two. The third one I can make a sense I, you know what? I, I wanna try this ability. I can make a sense of motive against that. What's the DC? His attack roll, so it's I don't have a good chain. But it's an immediate act. So. Damn. Uh, if I passed, I would have gotten a plus 2 AC, which would have meant that miss. But I did. Nice. So, nice. Okay. Then he will bite you again. Fair. Thirty-one points. There's some good damage. It, it does add up. Okay. Uh, then we're on to Vanwa. That's it for me. Okay, then we're back to initiative. Ooh, fairness rolled bad. Even worse than me. Ryan, you're up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just delay. Okay, Xander. Don't you have improved specialization? Xander? We lose Xander? He's showing in Discord, but...
I guess he's in the process of dropping. Okay, well, let's skip over Xander. Oh, we can't skip over. Oh, yeah, we can skip over Xander. Okay, we'll Xander. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not... What did I mean? Your turn. Go. I was... Oh, I thought I ran. Okay. Yeah, we've basically just been skipping turn because there's no reason to waste resources. Oh, I'm very sorry. Yeah, at this point, I, I know you're going to just fucking wipe this damn thing. No, so. it, it's it's fair. I, I timed out again. I just assumed that. How are you timing out? Uh, I have no idea. It, it just I, goes, I, I, for some reason, the Wi-Fi will drop out for a quick second, then reconnect, which with I Discord... Thought you, I, I, yeah. I thought you switched to Ethernet. I did, but then some. it didn't connect. I, I think it's a driver update, and I don't want to deal with that right now. I'll get it fixed I for don't Sunday. Have a good uh, yeah, I'm going to mess with it tomorrow. Ouch. Minus 500 input, 600, 700. Looks like it's dead. Okay, I'm done. Sorry. Oh, that was fun. Shall we continue? I disconnected. Sounds like a plan. You may proceed at your leisure. Okay. More bones. Are any of these orc bones? Is that a kill share? Yeah, you can roll a check. Okay. Uh, Ferenc, are these orc bones? Oh, where's my heal check? Fifteen. Wow, that's horrible. Uh, uh let me try. The green Bonner. healer has stopped healing. Does does a fifteen uh identify the bones? No. I got a twenty one. There are no orc bones in the pile. That's good news, but potentially I, upsetting news. I will salve my bruised ego by giving Xander a cure light wounds. Thank you very much. Oh, nice. Thank you. Uh, just to reiterate, he is also stealthing. Um, I will wait a moment for Orion to catch up. Three, two, one. Ah, hello. Oh, you want to go first? Please. I do not want to go first. That would be a bad idea for Orion. Did that path connect? Is that what I saw? Yeah, okay. I see. I see. More bones. I don't feel the need to go down where the bones are increasing, so let's go up. Bones are increasing regardless, okay. Just going to make sure that's not a tunnel up to the north. It is not, okay. Hey, I recognize this place. Yeah, this is yeah. the map from the sewers, the first part where you fought the Tassel. There's only four or five of these big maps, so I have to recycle a lot of them. 
Okay. So while wandering, do we have any ideas for how to do anything better than wander aimlessly? Okay, you can wait there, Xander. Okay. I shall wait here. You can roll a perception check. the head of a purple worm bursts out of the rock face at you. I'm going to be honest, I thought purple worms were bigger. Yep. Didn't we I find like a bunch of diamonds in a, in a purple worm dung pile? Yes, we did. This is great, because this is loot. Uh, this is not the purple worm, I don't think. Okay, then you can roll initiative. I just don't like how he said yep to my observation about this thing being small. Yeah, that there is a... Because you're only looking at his head. I am pretty sure there is a purpler worm around here somewhere. A purpler worm? Yes. That's how they age. Hey. They don't get bigger, they just get purpler, right? Hey, John, just heads up. We can't, or at least I can't click the worm. Oh, really? Oh, oh I you're right. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to turn the worms. You can always tell who's metagaming. Just want to see his AC. Yep. <laughs> Not the slightest bit metagaming. Okay, um... Oh, is it, he uh, he attacks you when you burst through the wall. Sorry, you just, okay. yeah, you're flat-footed when he attacks. I am. You are not. You made the perception. Okay, cool. I didn't I'm bother sorry. getting Ferens to roll since uh, he uh, didn't get attacked. Whether he's surprised or not, nothing happened. I'm gonna try that sense motive again, if you don't mind. On a thirty. Well, I get the plus two AC for a one minute against the creature, and I might oh, be able to pass. Nice. Surprised you haven't been using your dodge bonus. Yeah, just the risk of losing the dodge against something else that appears is the risk, and I feel like whenever I use it, I'll guess wrong. Love it. Nice. I have a plus two going forward. Nice. Oh, and it's my turn. Okay, cool. So is this critter just hiding, or does it, like, pop out of the ground? Uh, it burst through the wall in front of you. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay, here goes in. Oh, 15. Oh, 15's better for damage, but harder to calculate. Why is it harder to calculate? Because 20, I just have to subtract 2 from the 10s place. Now I got to do, I actually have to do that. I'm sorry, I will make sure that all the monsters going forward are at least 20 hit dice. I'm not going to lie, I would appreciate that. That would make this a lot easier for me. Oh yeah, Joe, can you roll a CR3 uh, treasure for, uh, I think it was Doom? Oh yeah, I forgot to ask him. <laughs> okay, then we're on to Orion. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and pass. Delay. Okay. I'm going to delay. Ben Wall. Okay, then it is the worm's turn. Okay, sorry. Uh, what are you sorry about? Oh, accidentally, I pushed a talk on. Sorry about that. Um, I had said sorry to some people. Like that. What did I just miss? Uh, the purple worm continues to uh, file out of the wall into a giant coil of wormy goodness. And I keep forgetting to use my smite, so I will start with my smite. I mean, now is not really a great time to start with smite. I mean... I'll probably wait for a more impactful moment. No. There you go. Much more impactful. Oh, Very that's cool. a 19. He'll luck that up. I'm sure glad Fair it isn't me. How do you know it's not you? Oh, wait, what? Well, he's lucking it up, which means he knows quick. lucking it up against me won't help, so maybe he is going after you. Oh, yeah. That's dumb. I always forget you fortification. <laughs> yeah, I should attack Ferrance. Take a shot every time John forgets about fortification. <laughs> We'd be all fucking drunk real quick. We'd okay. be drunk in three turns. So he does a whole bunch of damage. Uh, yeah. Bite you for 50 points. Oh, wow. Of smitey goodness. See, I'd be much more scared of those bears smiting because they get multiple attacks. Oh, really? Well, Isn't the smite sting on one attack? Or? Then he will sting you with his tail. Ah. A smite for the round or is it against all attacks? No, it's, it's, just, one? it's just against A one creature... Person. Uh, for all your attacks. Or wait, is it, you changed it to the Pathfinder Smite, right? For Paladins, I did. For the um, uh, template, I did not. I just left it as the... Ah, okay. Smite as a base ability was fucking terrible. The only thing I changed is that if he misses with it, he keeps the charge for around a level. Oh, okay. Okay, 37 is a hit on uh, Ferentz. So 20 points of damage. And you have delay poison, right? It's interesting. I don't even. Have, oh, I have the poison DC written down. But I don't have the actual. Do I save now or do I save once the late poison goes away? Uh, doesn't really matter if you're going to heal it either way. Well, eventually it could get like dispelled or something crazy. I don't know what's going, what's up ahead. Yeah, I guess you can roll your save. It's DC twenty six. I'm good. 
Yeah, it's super potent poison too because it does 2d6. 20d6 of poison. Okay, then we're on to Ferenc. Uh, I will double five foot step back and uh, I'll throw a uh, close wounds on Xander. You get 18 oh, and 22. I appreciate it. I leave you to die, but first, here's some healing. That's my turn. How are the blades on this creature? Uh, are Is armor viable or no? Uh, the purple worm doesn't have particularly good armor. Uh, there's okay. nothing special about it. It's just got thick skin. Fair enough. That I'll try. It actually has very poor armor because it's not really a like combat beast. True, it is a... Uh... Yeah, that makes sense. It's just a big dumb animal. Doesn't even get the dire plus five armor bonus. You need to fight the dire purple worm. The mother worm. Yeah, I have to make a dire purple worm. 36 hit die. That'll uh, definitely kick it up a notch. That'll be where we test the taking the SR above 25. Well, I'm going to take the SR above 25. I just didn't do it last session. Uh. I think the idea with the template is that a lot of monsters, even in the reasonable range of DCs, like uh, I think a colossal scorpion or centipede or whatever, is like a 40 hit die monster. So that would give it a spell resistance of 45 which would be totally unreasonable for a bug to have um but there needs to be something above 25 because when you're getting into 40 hit dice monsters you sh should still be pretty potent for deflecting magic fair yeah, I think the 40 hit die um, monsters only like CR10 or something. I just only count, count uh, the hit dice after 17 as half and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, there's a variety of things you could do with it. Um, there's another option where you use uh, 10 plus half their hit dice. Mm -hmm. And then you just use the lower number that way it always stays within uh, reasonable range makes sense I guess I'm just going to watch the point yeah the fiendish, fiendish monstrous colossal uh, centipede is 24 hit dice mm. hey, Ryan it's your turn Alrighty, um, I'm gonna step out. I don't even technically need to. I can see part of him. What uh, is that? Just what's, his, list, what's his spell resist? Spell resist is 23, I think. Is that his turn? Does he just have to roll an issue? Sorry, what? Oh, y'all are waiting on me for initiative. Got it. Did you roll initiative? There we go. Xander's turn. Yeah, it's the monstrous scorpion. It's 40 hit dice, and it's CR 12. At 12th level, fighting something that is uh, 45 for magic resistance would be insane. Yeah. Although fighting a colossal scorpion would be cool. That just sounds... Just sounds what? 
I don't know. Fun. Okay, fun is a good word. Cool, I didn't even have to cast a spell and the damn thing's dead. Yeah, this is one of the things I was saying last time is I quickly realized that my monsters aren't nearly as tough as they needed to be. I just for Xander. Well, just for the adventure. When you're doing a uh, party versus one monster, the monster has to be fairly tough. Yeah, no, that's fair. Like that assassin vine was super tough. It was a CR 18, but the uh, alligator was only a 16. And well, it was a scary encounter and it could have gone really badly. Um, a couple of days is takes the fight down to nothing. Yeah, and I mean, and this one just had a low AC so I could power attack more. Um, like the 37 AC creatures, I could power attack maybe one or two and I'd still miss one attack maybe. Yeah, big scary monsters tend to get weird at high levels. There's just like no amount of hit point. Like either the hit points are just completely insurmountable or like they just aren't because damage numbers and uh, they go crazy. Yeah, in the case of the purple worm, I think the big issue is it doesn't have a very good armor class. Like the base monsters, uh, a CR 12, which isn't that tremendous and uh its armor is basically its hit die so with a minus four penalty for being gargantuan uh and only plus 12 for its armor that's not a very tough monster and it doesn't yeah. even have a ridiculous con like the dire bear has a higher con and it's size large i think the i'm dire actually bear... curious uh um oh my god real names uh Cody, um, yep. how high level have you gotten in 5th edition? Uh, like, that, that I've ever played, or like... Yeah, that you've played. Like, consistently played. Yeah, like, reasonably length. Like, reasonable length of time played. Uh, 15. Huh. So I, I know, like, D&D always kind of breaks down at the high levels, but uh, it's kind of interesting to actually experience it firsthand. It is. I've played uh, like I played a a campaign that went from one to fifteen, uh, and then our DM fucking dipped on us. Which matter of fact, the DM is a part of this server. Oh, that's uh, what's her face, Ashley. Yeah. Or in in your is that the game Red where she Dragon. had the coup, or did she just uh, drop out? Uh, what do you mean, the coup? Well, she was telling me that she had one game that she had set up, and one of the other players was kind of like co-DMing with her and wanted to take the game over, and she had spent all kinds of money on maps and whatnot for it, and he just browbeat her into letting him have the game, and I was like, there's no way in hell that would ever happen. First of all, it's on my server. You don't have access to my server, so you can't run my game. If you want to take my group and have a mutiny and go start your own group, your own game and even take your characters with you and try and pick up the campaign, go nuts. But I'm not just handing you all of my material so you can take my game. I mean, not really. It was kind of weird the way it happened. Cause she's like, she bowed out. And then one of the players did ask if they could do one final thing. And that was it. But we didn't force her out. We we actually waited for like three months for her to come back. Yeah, she had a, a lot of health problems. Yeah, she did. It's yeah. actually a very common thing for online DMs, even a lot of online players that play a lot, uh, to be people who are on like disability and whatnot because they have a whole bunch of time to kill and they need a cheap form of entertainment all day. That's true. Okay, so you guys uh, kill the uh, purple worm.